Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have my empties video for January and February. This is going to be a little bit of a long one because I did a big bathroom clean out and I am a really bad at hoarding empty bath products in my bathroom. So we're going to go through some of those first. Um, I am going to keep track of the makeup and skincare products I use up, but I don't think I'm going to tell you it this year. I'm just going to see like actual physical product wise how much I bring in versus how much goes out in the skincare and makeup section. So let's get started with hair care which I very rarely talk about because I'm as I said really bad at bringing out them out of my bathroom. So these products got finished up probably closer to the end of like in December but these are the Kevin Murphy Angel Rinse for fine coloured hair which I have. This is the shampoo and conditioner and then it came in a set with like a texture spray which I'm still using because I'm really bad at using styling products. Um, so the shampoo... Here's my thing with conditioner. I think conditioner you can basically use any conditioner and it will do a job. As long as you get something for your hair type, a fine hair type I find as like as long as I get something for fine hair, they all do the same thing. They don't overly weigh down my hair, but they smooth it out enough. So conditioner, I'm a bit mad on. Shampoo, I do enjoy a good um lu not luxury, like a good high end shampoo. I always double shampoo my hair. I will do a cleansing shampoo and then a treatment shampoo, which will usually be a something like this, or I currently have the um, Living Proof Full Volume Shampoo. Do you prefer that? This is meant, like, this cleaned my hair fine, but I, I don't know, I just prefer how my hair feels now using the Living Proof one. Lasts me long enough, but it's not something I'd repurchase. A cleansing shampoo that I absolutely love. This is the Husk Charcoal with Citrus Oil Purifying Shampoo. I have repurchased this. This um, is the clarifying shampoo I use once a week. So I will use a sulfate-free drugstore shampoo usually as my cleansing shampoo. And then as I said, I will treat it with, do a treatment shampoo with the higher end shampoo. But this um, is a go-to for me for a clarifying shampoo. Um, this is paraben and sulfate free. Um, but I really like this when I'm doing a deep clean of my hair. Body products. I have three of the Soap and Glory like little body things that I got in a advent an advent calendar. They're nice, but they're not great. Clean on me is my favourite, but I'm not fussed with any of them really. Then I have two Body Shop shower gels. This is the Coconut Shower Cream. This stuff, I would not repurchase this. I personally am not a huge fan of um, coconut scents anyway, but this is quite a thick. It is a shower cream, not a shower gel, and that probably just aggravated the fact that the scent lasted quite long on my skin and if you didn't foam it up properly it would literally like leave soap on your skin. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, you feel me? Yeah. I didn't know. That's okay. Sorry. What's wrong? Are you hungry? I said too dirty for a reason. Mm -hmm. Let me finish filming and then we'll eat. Okay. Okay? okay. Love you. So as I was saying, um, the, yeah, the coconut, the fact that it was cream, if you didn't like emulsify it and bubble it up well, it would like actually, it wouldn't wash off your skin well. And I, there are times when I was like trying to just do a quick shower and I would not properly foam up my body and I would get out of the shower and there'd be like a line of shower gel on my arm. It was not a fan. But the body, uh, the body Shop Shower Gels, I really like this, is the Vanilla Marshmallow. This was a Christmas scent. It's just a little mini. 
I love this scent. I really like sweet scents. This is really good. I prefer the shower gels over the shower creams. And then I believe the rest is all skin. Oh, and a subtle dry shampoo for like hair. This made my gave me just as much of a white cast as anything else. I don't understand the whole full light hair thing. Maybe because it leaves a white cast. And it smells gross. And it didn't do much, so that would be a no. Alright, let's get into skincare. I used up two of the Sephora Algae face masks. These are purifying and detoxifying. These are the sheet masks. I will once a week or once a fortnight do a clay mask and then follow up with a sheet mask to rehydrate my skin after I've done a clay mask, which dries my skin. It doesn't dry my skin out per se, but it does dry skin to some extent. So I do like going with a sheet mask after to rehydrate me. Yeah, I've been having some summer breakouts because I've been oilier. Um, these are really nice. I don't know if they really help with purifying and detoxifying, but they feel good on the skin. They rehydrate my skin and they make me feel like I'm doing something. So, yeah. And you can get two serum uses after that as well, I find. Cleaning out my bathroom. <laughs> The Garnier Sensitive, Clean Sensitive 2-in-1 Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I also have the Clinique Take the Day Off. So the price difference on this is, I think this is about three times the price. But I use at least three to four times the amount of product of this. So I would, I wouldn't get this because you just use so much more product to try and get it off. And this one, it just... It works better. It works better. Sometimes spending money on the more expensive things are better. It's just how it is. Some expensive things I would not spend the money on. Where did the little... Eve Long Cleansers. So I have a small size of the original cleanser and then I had a sachet of the gel balm cleanser. I cannot stand the scent of these products. They sting my eyes, so I can't use them around my eyes, which for some cleansing balms, I, I can't use them. I can't use the Pharmacy Green Clean around my eyes because it's got citrus in it. It's fine. I use the Clinique Take the Day Off, either liquid or balm. Simple as that. But for this much money, I should be able to use it around my eyes. The smell... I don't know what the smell of these products... Uh, clove. Is it clove? Clove leaf oil? Mm, no, can't do it. Cannot do it. It's terrible. I did use them up. No, I can't. The smell is so off-putting. And I don't mind if skincare it doesn't smell good. Like, it shouldn't smell good. But these, these, these smell actually really off-putting for me. And they work the same as any other makeup remover. That I have, so those are no's from me. Um, skincare product that was a yes for me is the Nude Perfect Cleansing Oil. This thing lasted forever. I think I got nearly a year out of this product. It says use in six months. This is really good cleansing oil. It does emulsify into a milk really easily. I don't think you can actually buy this at the moment quite upsetting but I really like it and it has a pump so it was really easy to use definitely would prefer this over the Eve on either of them the Ren Vitamin Mineral Active Eye Gel you guys know uh, this is the third one of these I've used up second or third um, it's a really nice eye gel for in the morning I'm actually using the Good Molecules eye serum that I got in my Beautylish Lucky bag but this is a really nice lightweight eye gel that sits really well under makeup so and it lasts maybe six months which I don't think is too bad I, I have no complaints so and it doesn't sting my eyes like the Origins Ginseng so and then the last skincare product is a sunscreen that has expired this is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense um, I picked this up in the States and it's gone bad. I didn't like it. It left me really greasy. Um, if you have dry skin, you'd probably like it. But for me, it was just a no-go. 
makeup products. Um, if you guys watched my hashtag Team Project Pen update, you will know that I finished up the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. Not a favorite. I'd probably repurchase. I'd probably purchase the Urban Decay D Slick over this. As much as I really like the Mister, it it kind of stung my eyes a little bit. This one, so keep that in mind. I. Finally finished up the Two Days Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Finally finished this thing up. I really enjoy this foundation. It has a lot of product in it as well, which I really enjoy. And I will definitely repurchase it in the shade Swan, which is a little bit lighter because this was the lighter shade when I bought it. There are now two lighter shades, Snow, Swan and Cloud. Um, Cloud will be too light for me, I know that. But Swan will be good for me. And I will definitely repurchase this because this is one of the, this is the best medium coverage foundation I've tried for oily skin. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. What I would use to adjust the colour in that is one of, I'm pretty sure I put this in my 2018 beauty favourites. I had to. This is the Ulta 3 Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops. Um, I didn't use this up organically. I basically poured the rest of this bottle, which is probably about half this bottle, into my bottle of Long Kong Tong Adol liquid foundation because it was too dark for me and it is still currently too dark for me. I still have to put extra lightning drops in it. I have repurchased this. Um, so I'm just going to have to put some more in there. But I really like this. It's really good and it's like 10 bucks. It's amazing. If you are in Australia, definitely pick that up at Bloom's The Chemist. Concealer, I finished up the Colourpop No Filter Concealer. Um, this, I enjoyed, I enjoyed this more than I enjoyed the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So if I was to repurchase a drugstore concealer, it would be this one. But I prefer my Too Faced Born This Way over this. So it's probably not something I would repurchase. So out of drugstore, like drugstore price concealers, it is probably, it is my favourite at the moment. I really want to try the new L'Oreal one that came out in the States. I'll tell you what I think of that. But I do like this one, but yeah, it's not the be all end all one. I finally finished up the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in 125. Daniel picked this up for me in the Boyfriend Buys My Makeup Challenge when we were in the States. Um, it was too dark for me, but, and it was the like hydrating. Not mattifying one, but it's fine. I used it up. It's done. And then the last products I have are mascaras. The first is the Lancome Hypnos Original. Nope, not a fan. Did not like it. These two, however, I loved. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash. This was in my 2018 Beauty Favorites, I think. I think both of these made it into my 2018 Beauty Favorites. Uh, still a huge lash is very similar to the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara, which is one of my holy grails for big full lashes. I have the drugstore dupe. This is the problem. I do not like Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Do not like it at all. I do not like the tube of the US L'Oreal Lash Paradise that I tried. This is the Australian L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic, and I really like it. So, who knows? Maybe, I think I got a bad tube of the US L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But this wand, I think the formula does have an impact as well as just the wand type. Um, yeah. So I like Velvet Noir, I like this, don't like better than sex. Then we have the Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara. This was my go-to. Like, this is big, like, Too Faced is big lashes. This is my go-to every day. Like, good lashes, but not, like, insane lashes. You know what I mean? Like, this gives me good lashes. Like, good day-to-day -day great lashes. But, like, not insane. Because I don't need, like, looking like I'm wearing false lashes every day. Because, like, that would be too much in my line of work. So. This is really amazing. I really liked this a lot and um, there is a set in Sephora US that has like a lash dash that has three of my hair mascaras and a redeem for like, like minis and then you can redeem it for a full size 
And since we're going back to the States, I think I want to pick that up. Yeah. So, those are the products I finished up in January and February. Um, if you guys want... I don't know what I was going to say then. If you guys want more in-depth information on these products, pretty much giving you a good rundown of them though. So, let me know the product comments down below what products you guys have been using up lately, what you've been loving, what you've not been loving. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe to stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.